Saudi Muslim community outraged by women in niqab singing. On August 15th, Saudi actor Abdullah al Sadhan posted a video on Twitter of a woman wearing a full face veil singing and conveyed his unwavering support for her performance. The video of the niqab clad woman singing went viral and caused outrage in Saudi Arabia. The actor commented that the woman in his tweet, uh, commended the woman in his tweet for her voice and wrote, I just want to say that may Allah protect you. Finding a job and earning money for sustenance is difficult. Keep going with your beautiful voice, regardless of what others think about you. However, some from religious Saudi Muslim communities did not appreciate her endeavor as singing is considered haram, and such performances by women are contrary to traditional and religious norms. One user questioned why she wore the niqab while singing and performing. Quote, why does she wear the niqab if she started down this path? If she took it off, it would have been better than offending it. Many from the Islamic faith believe that listening to music or singing is considered forbidden as it is viewed as a corrupting influence. Um, do you think what's corrupting influence? Singing in general or woman singing? I have well, the video. Particularly the woman singing. Well, in Iran, like, let me tell you what it's like in Iran. In Iran, men are allowed to sing, women are yeah. not. Oh, no, 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 wait. They changed that. It used to be like that. Women can't sing at all. But now, they made it so women can sing as long as their voices are drowned out by other men singing. <laughs> so what the this hell? Was a... <laughs> so I don't know. You might get like if the the whole point is like a woman singing is too arousing. Okay, so they were like first they were like no music, and they were like okay fine music, but no singing, and they were like okay singing because this is a keep the push and take between the government and the people. But obviously just men, okay? And they're like, okay, women can sing, but as part of a group of other men singing as well, okay? And this whole idea is like women singing is to, uh, might arouse you, okay? But if you hear men singing with them as well, then it wouldn't be aroused. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Let's watch this and see if we're aroused, okay? Raise your hand if you're aroused. <laughs> 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 everyone keep a close monitor of your pants okay let's see how we yes <laughs> let us test together this list this is an experiment everybody okay everybody oh my mind god your pants. mind your pants okay <laughs> Okay, report, report in the live chat. <laughs> I mean, Susie, you're by, you're by. You drop a, a drop a one in the live chat if you were aroused, <laughs> sexually speaking. <laughs> um, um, wow. Okay. Wait. wait so I what think was she's the a reaction? good speaker. Singer. I mean, it's wait. a good singer. I mean. More, okay. What is he saying? So the tweet says, "What I say, but God protect you and only." Uh, Searching okay, so the re uh, guys, by the way, the reason why this is I'm assuming the reason why this is getting a lot of attention is not just because a woman is speaking, okay? People are like, people are like, minds are blown because women singing is associated with something that is less Islamic or un Islamic or somebody who cares less about Islam. So, seeing a woman in full niqab and singing at the same time, people are like, what is happening here? How could she be like? so islamic and also not islamic at the same time right so that's why people are reacting to this like what the hell is going on here and some people are saying like maybe like if you want to go on islamic just think of the niqab like why are you being so islamic at the same time exactly right so, right. so yeah so people are confused people's minds are confused and they don't know how to process this what they're saying that's what's happening here well because when they actually find this basically like slutty to do like she's called like 
calling attention on herself like she could be causing men to be aroused she could be causing temptations like that's basically like a unmodest thing to do right so that's antithetical to the point of the niqab that's part of it as well right yes exactly exactly they're like i don't know what people's reactions are it doesn't make sense um yeah people are like you're trying to hide you know your aura with your niqab but at the same time you're arousing people with your voice so what the hell what the hell lady are you we're getting mixed signals we're getting mixed signals here do you want us to be aroused or not <laughs> like make your part you can make up your mind <laughs> anyways you have some uh comments i like it yeah i think you've told me before that um in you've come across very religious women who like basically um speak in a fake man's voice in an attempt to not arouse men right oh yeah in iran okay again this is not very common like with the first time you get exposed to it you're like even as an iranian you're like what the hell is happening okay so there's this woman and i just noticed like some you have to be like really religious like even religious people find this like this is okay this is too much okay but you talk to the woman okay so you have the woman that is, has full hijab like very religious not naqab though because in iran naqab is not a thing unless you go to the southern arab sections right but you can say like the lady is very very uh, religious right and you you for example you talk to her you're like hi may i speak to your husband and she says like uh she's not he's not home uh here like oh where is he and like oh he's over there and the third time i don't know it's the third time or fourth time like do you know when he's coming back and then the first two answers that you got from her is like a normal voice but all of a sudden the third one she's like i'll be back at 4 p.m or something like, she talks like that oh my like, god <laughs> like she starts talking like that like what the hell just happened like why is she thinking about it? like she was like are you having a stroke <laughs> right so apparently I don't know after the third time you speak to a man or the fourth or the second time um the third one or the fourth one has to be you change your voice because if you keep talking to him in your womanly voice she he ends up being aroused okay so apparently that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to change your voice to something that is completely uh, unsexy uh, or manly manly yes so it yeah, makes complete sense <laughs> Tortura, like she's batman <laughs> yeah. yeah like <laughs> i am the darkness <laughs> <laughs> wait okay the, the the live chat has come back with some horny reports okay so let's okay, see what let's that see. video did to the live chat okay Trells is saying that there is zilch going on in his pants. Yeah, no. <laughs> Shriash said, <laughs> I just wet my <laughs> I just wet my pants <laughs> twice. <laughs> okay, Shriash wins for best comment today. Yeah. Um, Hands down. <laughs> Great Jedi said, nope, still waiting for my horny deep monster to come out, but it did not work. However, I did get the feeling that I was about to get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, no. Okay. And, um, uh, Yodzi saying, Su Susie said the S word on YouTube. I have completely given up on monitoring my language today. I just threw that yeah. out the window today. Okay. I'll be better Thank next you. week. No, no, no. Forget it. Like, um, yeah. And Dee is making a good point. She's saying what's funny is that this video is actually over a year old, but every time someone posts it, it causes a fresh wave of outrage. Right, yeah. So this is like the, what's recent is this wave of outrage, not the video. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wet my pants twice. Twice. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Susie, are you with us? I'm going to be thinking about that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.